The Masters tournament is more than the opening major of the men's season. It also has a rich amateur tradition, dating back to founder Bobby Jones. So it was arguably the biggest day in the life of 19-year-old Australian Antonio Murdaka as he strode onto the famous Augusta National Course as one of seven amateurs in the 2015 field. Antonio qualified for the Masters by winning last year's Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship. It's amazing, you know, um, stepping out onto the tee on, on Monday with a crowd was, was pretty amazing and, you know, I'd, I was lucky enough to have practice round on, on Saturday afternoon with, with um, Adam Scott and, you know, there was no one out here so the, the vibe of the crowd is definitely, um, is definitely pretty cool. I didn't expect this, um, you know, obviously watched a lot of it on TV and, you know, coming out, stepping onto the golf course is pretty, pretty amazing. Players in the Masters field get access to the course in advance of the tournament to help them prepare. First day nerves are to be expected for anyone making their debut at Augusta, let alone the amateurs. So Antonio decided to get them out of the way before tournament week began. I came, I think, maybe just over three weeks ago now and um, I was lucky enough to have a practice round, have my first look at the golf course. Um, you know, I've been working back home pretty hard. I've been trying to, you know, a lot of downhill parts, a lot of, um, you know, see, see if I can part on something as quick as I can. So. Um, that's definitely how I've been working pretty hard on my swing and I'm lucky enough to have my coach in the bag this week and um, yeah, it's, if the swing feels in good shape so I think it should be all right. Antonio also had his family in town making his first Augusta experience even more special. He joins a pretty elite band of amateurs who've had the privilege of teeing it up in the Masters but what we wondered is it like to take on this golfing masterpiece. You don't imagine all the slope, so coming out here for the first time was a bit of a shock. I didn't realise. I knew it was going to be hilly and, and slopey, but um, you know, not to this extent. He faced a daunting pairing for the opening two days alongside Dustin Johnson and fellow Aussie Adam Scott. But that practice round with Scott certainly helped. Who better to ask for advice than the 2013 Masters champion? My first ever round with him was on Saturday afternoon, so He's a um, really nice guy, he's easy to get along with and he's definitely helped me a little bit during the week. He's, um, you know, he's been really nice, come and said hello to me and um, introduced himself to my parents. So it's going to be an amazing experience for me playing with a you know, former Masters champion, a you know, fellow Aussie and you know, Dustin Johnson's come off a win so it's going to be pretty fun. Madaka can thank a spectacular seven-shot win at last year's Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship for being at the Masters. His victory completed a great week for Team Australia, who took full advantage of local course knowledge around Royal Melbourne's composite layout as they ended up filling three of the top four places. You know, we've got a lot of good amateur golfers back home and, um, you know, a lot of them are starting to come through the ranks now and, you know, we've got an amazing national um, program back home which our, you know, all our amateurs, well, most of our amateurs get to go through and experience and, um, you know, it, it definitely helps for us and you know, striving to be like Adam Scott or Jason Day is a pretty amazing thing for us. Unfortunately, Antonio failed to make the weekend, but a second round 73 at Augusta left him a very respectable seven over on his first Masters appearance, third among the amateurs and no doubt treasuring this chance of a lifetime.